Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Ezekiel and this is the third video. This is going to be the 21st to 30th best 50 apps, video tweaks, apps, and mods. The 21st one is going to be um, Icon Renamer, which lets you name, change the name of the of the apps you have on your springboard. Uh, let me demonstrate YouTube real quick. As you can see, it says YouTube on here. If I click on it once, it brings up Rename YouTube. And I rename it to YT for YouTube. And I click on. Sorry about that, guys. And uh, it said YouTube, but I renamed it to YouTube YT. And I click on Apply, and it changed the name to YT. Um, if you want to change it back, just click on it again. Y O. And it changes it back. And that was called uh, Icon uh, Renamer. Um, the next one is going to be Iconoclasm. What Iconoclasm lets you do is put the, uh, the change the different, I mean, change the layout that you have in Springboard. Because right now I have 5x5. Five five. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you can change that. Um, with the Iconoclasm, all you have to do is go to your settings app and then go to Iconoclasm. Just wait for it to load up. Iconoclasm and the layout right here. And you can see it has different ones. It's 5x5, five five, which is the one I have right now. 5x4. Um, um, the, the, the system default is 4x4. Four four. Um, everyone gets their phone by 4x4. Four four. Um, I would change it, but um, it's going to respring and then it was, it'll make the video longer. And uh, I don't want it to be no more than 10 minutes. Anyways, um, if I click on it and then we spring it, it'll change my layout to, to what I have chosen. Um, the next one is going to be iFile. What well, iFile um, lets you do, you can directly view files like movies, um, hear sounds, text, HTMLs, uh, PDF files from that are in the root of your phone. And you can also change uh, your themes. Um, like like I'll go to where's the weather at. Here. And I could change the zip code to my my weather widget, so I could change it through here with iFile. Um, you could do the same thing with the SSH tool, like WinSCP or Cyberduck, but um, iFile is like in your phone and it's a lot easier to use when you don't have like a computer or anything like that. And that's the weather widget that I was talking about. It's 1 a.m. and you can see that I have the moon here and. The clouds moving behind my apps. <clears throat> that one, that was called iFile. Uh, let me go on to the next one. The next one is called um, Grid Tab, and it's on uh, Safari. What Grid Tab lets you do is view all the the pages that you have open on your Safari page. So if I click right here, I have two pages open on running through YouTube. I click on it, and these are the two pages that I have. I have Facebook and my YouTube. So if I want to go to Facebook, I click on it. It's gonna refresh it, and then, or if I want to go back to YouTube, just click on right there the two, and click on back to YouTube, and it'll take me back to YouTube. Um, that one was called a Grid Tab and it's a paid app. Uh, the next one, the the twenty fifth one is called um I Type Apple Icon, which lets you type the Apple icon. This Apple icon right there. As you type it, um, let me uh, focus it. And by the way, I'm recording this with the iPhone 4. I have a spare one. So if I, so let me do this again. Let me click on hold the letter A. And you see the Apple logo right next to it. I go to it and release it, and it will type the Apple uh, logo icon. And if you text this to someone that doesn't have an iPhone they'll still be able to read it. It's not like A1G where only people um that have iPhones could read it. So um anyone could be you know anyone could read that one. And that one's called an I type Apple icon. Uh the twenty six one's gonna be multi icon mover. So I have it on a wiggle uh, mode which means I can move the icons. I select YouTube and cancel, select maps and cancel. And let's say I want to move YouTube and maps. I want to move them to a new page, 
to a third page I just press the home button and removed here um, you could select a, up to many you, you could select to as many um, applications um, that allows you to move like since I have 5x5 five five, it'll let me move 25 to this page but if there's only like one space open for an icon it will, it'll only let me move one to that current page and the other ones will stay behind I hope that makes sense so I'm moving back I just press the, the home button move it back here move it back here and that was called a um, multi icon mover the 27th one is going to be a uh, recent call log delete which lets me delete the call log I just open up the phone app and um, as you see I've, I've been calling these people or they have been calling me um, if I don't want someone to know like if I don't want her to know that I've been talking to her all I need to do is um swipe it and click on delete or I could just click on edit and delete them like that like it's it's really that simple and that's got um recent call log delete uh, the next one's going to be um photo mail um photo mail lets you add photos to mail via the mail app um let me open it up and this is my sister she's forwarding me some some pictures of, of a bike I'm in the process of purchasing um so um she has photo mail as well and let me show you guys real quick I click on reply right so um if I want to reply to her by picking choosing um well with this trick you'll be able to send any photo from your photos app so let me double click here and you see that plus sign I click on it and it lets me choose a um, a picture that I have on my on my photos app so I want to send a picture of this car which is my dream car and I click on it it's gonna have it up there and you can select multiple ones so I just click again click on the plus sign choose a photo uh, choose a photo and this one and then it has them both so then I just click send and, and it will send them so you can send um, multiple um, apps I'm mean, sorry multiple photos through your mail app uh, that one's called photo mail and the 29th one is going to be called pull to, re pull to refresh for email which let me go back into my Yahoo email and with this um, it lets me refresh my email without having to push the refresh button down here so I just put it down and it refreshes and it makes a little noise too and um, you're going to do this once you go into one of the um, one of the accounts so it, it won't let me do it right here it only let me do it like if I go into my uh, Yahoo or like if I go back and go into my Gmail so um, that's very useful um, this other one's gonna be called uh, put to refresh for Safari which is basically the same thing but it refreshes the Safari without you having to press the refresh button up here let me show you guys again and I'm gonna show you grid tab click on the my Facebook I want to refresh it. It's really that simple. And these two, the, the put to refresh for email, put to refresh for Safari, are free. So um, just get those from Cydia, and you find that they are going to be useful. And that's that's going to be my third video for the 50 best Cydia apps, tweaks, and mods. Um, like like my video. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know when. In, and I will have the the two names on the description. All right, thanks for watching, and um, I will have the links to the other videos. I didn't say that again before. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one.